Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up one or two VEX to an Arduino. This guide is using VEX that are on firmware version 3.64, which is the latest as of today, January 3rd, 2020. You're going to want to wire up the VEX to the Arduino, like this. I'm using an Arduino Uno, and we're using UART to communicate between the VEX and the Arduino. The Arduino Uno only comes with two serial ports. Uh, the RX is digital pin 0 and TX is digital pin 1. So you can use the Arduino's built-in serial ports for one of the VEX. You hook up the TX on the VEC to the RX on the Arduino and the RX on the VEC to the TX on the Arduino. Now if you want to hook up more than one VEC and control them independently, you're going to need to use the software serial library, which you can find online. But for this example, I chose digital pins 13 and 12 for my RX and TX pins. So TX goes to RX, which I chose as pin 12, and RX goes to TX, which I chose as pin 13 on the UNO. Then, on each VEC, you're going to want to hook ground up to ground on the Arduino. And then, if you want to power the Arduino from one of the VECs, you can hook up the VEC's 5 volt output to VN on the Arduino Uno. Just make sure that you don't have the VEC powering the Arduino while your computer is also powering the Arduino from the USB port or um, and don't have the power adapter plugged in as well. Only have one thing powering the Arduino at one time. So here are the two VEX. Here in the back are the connections that we're worried about. So RX and TX are the two white wires. Red is uh, power. Black is ground. Over here on the other VEC it just has ground and the two RXTX wires. Those go over to the Arduino. One set is going to the TX RX pins, pins one and zero. The other set is going to pins 12 and 13. Power is going to VN on the Arduino so that the VEC can power the Arduino. And then the two ground wires are going to the two ground pins. So here's the code that I have running on the Arduino to power up the VEX. To use this code, you first need to download a library, VECUART. That's located here on GitHub. You can go to this page, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video, and you can clone or download it. One thing I almost forgot to mention, as of today, some updates are needed that aren't in the master branch here. If you clone the repo, you can see master is here and there's a develop branch. And this commit has an update that we need. So if you clone the repo, make sure to take the develop branch, unless this has been merged into master by the time you watch this video. If you don't want to clone the repo, you can click on branches and develop. And then you can clone that. Okay. If you want to clone or download it, to your Documents, Arduino, Libraries folder. So here, I downloaded it, well, I cloned it, and then I put it here. Once you do that and restart the Arduino IDE, you can make sure that the library is loaded by clicking on File, Examples, and then go all the way down to VecuArt. This should show up, and then you can look at some of the examples that come with the library. This is a uh, code that I wrote based on their examples. I will go over it really quick. So you import a couple libraries, including VecuArt. Here are the um, two objects that represent the two VECs that I am controlling independently. This is um, the software serial object used to um, control the second VEC uh, to make the two serial ports on pins 12 and 13, like I showed. This is the current that I'm using to power the VEX, um, 0.5 amps. This is a counter that I'll explain later. Then in the setup function, you just set up serial. 
I use a baud rate of 9600. Uh, serial is used so that when you open serial monitor, you can see some logs that are outputted, like um, the VEX current and um, other properties like RPM down here, RPM, voltage, amp hour, all sorts of things. So those things are outputted on the serial port. Then you need to begin uh, the um, each each VEC serial. So um, here, the software serial used for VEC one again at this baud rate, nineteen two hundred, and then um, <clears throat> the Arduino Uno zero and one serial ports are zero one. That's the object that uses those ports, and I be begin that with the same baud rate. And then you set the serial ports in the two uh, VEX. Okay, then in the loop, I call VEC1 and get the values and then output them. And then the same for the second VEC and output them. And then down here, I'm using that counter that I mentioned up here. I turn the current on. So uh, 0.5 amps, I tell the VEX to turn it on. So it spins the motor and then the counter is in incremented and it's incremented to 200. So the motors will turn on, the VEX will turn the motors, which spins the wheels in my project on for a set amount of time and then they turn off. So you can see once uh, the counter reaches above 200, it turns the VEX off and then we have a short delay. Then it'll run through the loop again. And that's the code. One last thing to do is to set the baud rate on the two VEX. Uh, by default, at least right now by default, the VEX are at this baud rate, which did not work with the software serial port in the Arduino. So it did work with serial one, the having that high of a baud rate, but it did not work with software serial. And that threw me for a loop for a little while until I figured that out. So you have to lower this. I lowered it down uh, to 19200 and then everything started working. So just make sure to set this, to change this on the VEX that you're using. Okay, the VEX are hooked up to the Arduino. One of the VEX is powering the Arduino and click reset. And that's it for this video. If you feel like it, leave a like on the video. And I upload videos mainly on using 3D printing and some CNC electronics to make functional things. If that sounds like something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe. Okay, bye.